you to book on the calendar and I'll send him a separate message and say whatever time that is that you've decided that Mike and or I will both be there too, okay. whatever it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm leaning towards Thursday or Friday during the day. Those are my lightest, like, first half of the day. So that would probably be best for me this Thursday or this Friday. Today's crazy. Tomorrow's going to be pretty busy. Thursday, yeah, one of those two days are going to work best. And if you still want to consider um, adopting one of the special needs kids for Christmas or something like that, let me know because we still have... I think 29 kids that aren't to the goal yet. Okay. So. What's the, uh, what are they looking for? Like when you okay, say you're so going to adopt a family, what are they looking for? These are autistic or special needs ch down river children who, because, you know, the parents, all the things that they need in terms of the nonverbal, if they may use like an iPad to communicate, some of them may have sensory issues or they're trying to get um you know the energy that's pent up so they have uh tool toys tools for them they're calling it their christmas wish whatever it is that could help their parents out these you know bigger items uh some of them go up to almost a thousand dollars but i yeah. want you know what i mean i told you how my plan was to kind of you know adopt a family or two for christmas but if it's a similar way i, I kind of want to be a part of it but mm -hmm. there are plenty of other um, I think Down River for Veterans right now is doing adopt, adopt a family, stuff like that. So you have options. But I, you know, I do like this, but it would be cool if I, if I could, I, I want to be involved. technology haven't been getting along lately the laptop recently got a crack on the screen and then when the tech people told me it'd take four to six weeks or three to five weeks or something to potentially fix my laptop well that didn't work out so well and then all of a sudden last night my iphone went in charge got some weird message that i think has to do with i was temporarily using a an unauthorized cable they make it to where those don't work as well so i just drove 45 minutes to an apple store get a couple new cables in that and uh be back in business so i'm gonna tell you what there's one store in the world that is always packed it's the apple store that place is nuts. Every time I've ever been by one in any city, if there's not a line waiting out the door, it's packed. Apple, Apple's ruin the world. iPads and iPhones and Apple TVs and MacBooks and all that. So be a dreamer. Maybe you could start the next Apple. There's no telling. Going this time, and we have arrived. <laughs> Chapel Hill, North Carolina, home of the UNC Tar Heels. If you know me at all, you know this has been my favorite college basketball team since the mid 80s. So I know that kind of dates me, but this is history for me. This is, uh, this is like my Super Bowl. This is like my World Series. To come here and actually be able to see a game not only just any game, but they're playing the Michigan Wolverines tomorrow night here at the Dean Dome. And me and my boy Mike are gonna be in the building. But literally check this out, we are at the Dean Dome. 
to be here and see a game at the Dean Dome and not just any old game, like I said, against my second favorite college basketball team, the Michigan Wolverines. This is uh, this is gonna be it's gonna be a night to remember tomorrow night. So I cannot wait. Walking through downtown Chapel Hill, University of North Carolina. It's a nice day out here today. It's about 55, 60 degrees. The sun is out. Tomorrow night's the big game. Wolverines, Tar Heels, ACC Big Ten Challenge. Is this that store? We're about to go into the store. Look at this. Classic Carolina. Look at all the merch. So I'm going to have to get back with you. I got to go in here and see what's going on. Just stopped in at Merritt's, grabbing some lunch. Uh, had my boy Kevin, who lives here in the Raleigh area, picked us up and took us for some lunch. But yeah, shout out to my boy Kevin. Kevin Call, great dude. Uh, him and Tina, um, EXP Realty family. And, uh, you know, we had a chance to chop it up and have some lunch and that and, you know, talk some business and talk family and life and fun stuff, so. Hang with my boy, Big Kev. What? Live and direct, Chapel Hill. What? My man picked us up. He knows we're in town. I think that's it. Yep, that was it. It's all good. Came and picked us up, treated us to lunch, you know, Southern hospitality style. Got me missing turns now. <laughs> it's all good. It's, it's good. game day, though. It is game day. We came down here. He thought I was going to have maize and blue on. I showed up in the Tar Heel blue. I was ready to come in my maize and blue. <laughs> but, you know. It's all good. It's all good. I'm okay either way. So yeah, it's game day. You're definitely gonna see some footage. Dean Dome, Wolverines, Dome. Tar Heels tonight, 9:15. The Dean Dome ain't gonna know what to do when Money Mike gets <laughs> in the building. I can tell you that. Let's go. They're not ready. <laughs> So I bet you're asking, what's up with the Tar Heels? Why are you down in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, going to see a University of Michigan, Michigan game versus the Tar Heels of North Carolina, and you're rocking that Tar Heel blue? Back in the late 80s, when I was just a young buck, barely in high school, obviously being a huge sports fan, I took a liking to the Carolina Tar Heels. Mid to late 80s, I just started watching them and following them, and uh, and here we are. I still love University of Michigan basketball. That's my other favorite team. Uh, and that's why this game is so sweet to me, because I've been to a ton of University of Michigan games. I've been to a handful of North Carolina games in Michigan, Ford Field, and I saw them play at Michigan um, a couple years ago, but the opportunity to come down here to Chapel Hill and watch the Wolverines play the Carolina Tar Heels, to me, was a no-brainer that I had to be here. This has been my team, this has been my color, this has been my stance for 30 plus years. So um, that's why this is a big deal to me. It's getting dark, it's getting a little bit later. We're gonna start heading over towards campus to the Dean Dome, feel the energy, the excitement. I gotta put my authentic Michael Jordan jersey on and go enjoy an awesome game so if you didn't know before now you know
have we won a national championship? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Tar Heels of North Carolina. 72-51. They put a hurting on them Wolverines of Michigan, but it's all good. It was a classic night. Great. We up here in the Dean Dome, and it was unbelievable. So, I'm just feeling good tonight, let me tell you. It's Thursday morning and this amazing trip is coming to an end. The game last night was incredible. It was unbelievable. Um, definitely going to check that off my bucket list. This place we stayed at, I mean, look at this. In the woods, trails. It was sweet. So the short little getaway to Chapel Hill, North Carolina was a huge success. I had a blast. I know Mike had a blast. I was able to hang out with my boy, Kevin Call, and uh, watch the Tar Heels and the Wolverines um, live on the court. So, but time to get back to Michigan, get back to work. Got a lot of work ahead of me. Got, got a lot coming down the pipeline. So nice little quick getaway and, uh, and back to the grind in Michigan. So. Um, it's time to go. It was fun, but it's done. A day in the life of Mike. That's how we do it. So the cool thing is I was able to get on an earlier flight back home. I wasn't supposed to get in until like 8.15 p.m. tonight, but I was able to move it up. So now it's only 3 p.m. and I'm here in Detroit. So I'm gonna surprise my daughter because it's opening night of her play that she's in with her high school drama. So I'm not gonna tell her, but I'm gonna be there tonight to surprise her. So I'm excited. 